Next thing he'll try to do is uh, the six minute abs. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, man. That, uh, I thought somebody would have got that. That took my breath. Oh, no, I got it. It just wasn't. Yeah, okay. Screw I didn't you. get it. And if I did it, uh, you know. I get it. No way could do abs in six minutes. You need seven. Okay. Something about Mary. Screw you all. I've, I've never seen that. Police! Hands up! Uh, Stay still. Okay, so far I like it. I like it. The the police are a little, a little grabby. I'm guessing that's supposed to be the Riddler. Yeah. Fuck this. We get taken down. We've been on long enough. I'll risk it. Is this hush? Is this what this movie is going to be? Hush. I don't think so. It's this guy. It's like got England and uh, Riddler, Catwoman. I don't think Hush is in it. That was a weak Prisoners moment to match. Yeah, I thought that too. I can take care of myself. She is. Isn't this going to be in like year two of Batman? Less. I don't care what happens to me. It's only going to get worse for you. No, she's better with longer hair. Whoa, take it easy, sweetheart. Hear everything they say, ain't you? Maybe we're not so different. Who are you under there? Uh. Since I'm when can Batman just take bullets straight to the chest? Oh, that was. thing was designed that way. The bat symbol was for the people to aim at. Yeah, yeah, for people point. to aim at. But, I mean, he just. They were point blank. Uh. Oh. I don't think they would all hit that one spot. Say what you will, but I I am pumped as shit for that. Um, that looked I mean, great. Oh, I'm not no, we're gonna, gonna watch cinema, but I might watch it. We're not gonna I'm like it. break I'm it down pumped. or anything. Break it down. Yeah. Uh, like, All right. Yeah. Break it down, dude. Uh, it looked great. Yeah. So bring it back up. So okay, you did. Here, take it back to the take it back from the start. We'll break it down. Yeah. His, yeah. His car does look dope. It did look um, pretty odd. It looked like a charger. Right. I'll, yeah. I think it is, isn't it? Uh, I will catch you all later. I'm off. Uh, all right, brother. Uh, love yeah, you, Everyone man. have fun. We'll see hopefully, you on Wednesday. Yeah, I was saying, like, hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday. All right, cheerios. See you, brother. See ya. All right. So this this was whatever. You know what I mean? I don't care either way. Um really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still thought like this guy was going to be Riddler just from this side shot. I thought so I, that it was going to be Tom Selleck. You know Tom Selleck? Yeah, uh, I do know him. I don't see it. Well, you don't see anything, of, I guess, because of the hair and the glasses. Uh, I don't. I think the Bat Batman costume looks pretty good. I do too. Like I know people were giving him um like shit about the ears or whatever, but uh the ears didn't bother me a bit. No, no, the the costume overall doesn't bother me. Like it, it seemed it it looks it looks good. Like that that looks pretty badass. Yes. Um 
probably a bit more armored than we uh, a, a little. Yeah. But I mean, that's I mean, that doesn't bother me. No, uh, no, no. Um what I so what I like about it is that there's joints to it, right? So yeah. you have the the solid like that solid armor piece in the middle, right? Yeah. But then your arms are free and then you have the shoulder and then you know the rest of the arms, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you there. Okay, so he got shot in in the shoulder there. Yeah, the second time. The first one was like to the chest. Oh, no, maybe that was just uh, the flash. No, you can see it. See, see yeah, that? Okay, so that was shoulder. Oh, I guess you're right, yeah. Huh, that's a weird thing behind his ear. Some kind of controlling thing. I didn't... I didn't yeah. s- oh, no, I think he's shocking him. I think he's got like oh, some electricity oh. in his gloves. Oh. And he's shocking him while he chokes him. Oh. Don't oh okay, me, bro. Don't so he, what does he say? I didn't hear it because people were talking. Okay, play it because it's horrible. Oh, my God. What does he say? Did. Why'd you do it? I've been trying to reach you. Oh, my God. I don't think he's saying, why did you do it? Well, it's a very weak moment. What have you done? What have you done? I've been trying to reach you. Oh, my God. I, I did not like that. Uh, I, I I don't think it was it was good for a trailer, especially I I feel like there was a lot of context that would make that a little better, and uh, it's not going to now because they used it in the trailer like that. I don't like it in the trailer. Well, and we we've seen Batman do those intense moments. You Christian Bale yeah. and uh, Ben Affleck, and it came across a lot more threatening. I did not find him threatening there. No, I. And, but I think that's part of it, though. Because he's too young? Yeah, yeah. I think, like, he, he's trying to be threatening, but, like, he's going against someone who is not threatened. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah they, need so, to, they need to go back into the studio and re-loop that or ADR or something, because that something. was terrible. Yeah. Well, uh, so if it's doing what, like, Mad suggested, that then that might actually work in the context. Right. But not in the trailer. Uh, That's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. So, because I, I, I could buy in that he hasn't fully got into the point where he's the threatening badass we've seen before. Like, he's trying to become that. I, I don't. By the way, I don't think we can say Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne was a lot better than this one because I haven't seen any of, like, very much at all of his Bruce Wayne. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, it's probably the weakest part of the character. Well, I mean, I haven't seen any of his Bruce Wayne in here, so right. I can't say whether or not Ben Affleck's is better. It's nice legs. And she looks hot there. You're not allowed to look at her that way. She said so. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm looking. <laughs> and do, do they not know who Catwoman is? If like that's what they're, uh, that's what she's trying to come out and say for Catwoman, huh? But Catwoman like full leather, lengthy, uses her sexuality to you know kind of manipulate oh, Batman and. I don't care anything. We can we can keep going. I don't care anything about Catwoman. I'm not watching this for her. By the way, it's who a, who is that? Penguin, right? Is that Colin Farrell? I think so. Uh, anyone uh, correct me there? Huh. It, it is. Wow. That I don't know if y'all know what Colin Farrell looks like. Not that. No. That's a lot of makeup. Yeah. Good job. And That's it looks a, it looks legit too. It does. It really does. Yeah. Ma'am, this he is honestly the weakest part of this film. He's a good actor though. Oh, he's like an excellent actor. 
that that's why I want to like I want to see the full context yeah. of things. Um because maybe just, the like trailer. Seeing, yeah, just seeing shots of him not even moving like oh he's the he's the he's the weakest part of this like what? He's not he's just standing there. <laughs> he's not even doing anything. Huh. Man. Yeah. Like, they really did a good makeup job. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like, this is in culture's realm. Like, wh what do you think of the makeup on, on him? Oh, it's amazing. Uh, are, are you kidding? The prosthetics and everything else? Yeah. It, it's incredible. You know, um, it, 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 here's the thing. You pre -vis, right? You pre -vis a bunch of stuff when you're looking at, like, somebody's bone structure and everything else. So you're getting as many, you know, reference shots as possible. Then you have to, you know, if 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 you if you're worth your salt, you get a mold, like a, like a, a head mold or at least half a head mold so that you can actually work with something physically to, like, bring it together but you have to have an eye to make it actually fit somebody right you can you can work on a mold all day long but when you actually apply the the, the effects uh, to someone's face it has to be perfect and when i look at this i'm like somebody not only not only that he is dedicated he had to sit in a chair for a long damn time for this at to be least applied. six plus hours so uh, maybe eight say? maybe yeah. eight okay yeah i mean he must have done like you know, he probably sat in the chair for eight hours they took like like four hours worth of film they shot like a whole then he only did this probably a few times maybe he was in the chair like seven or eight times total so maybe maybe they and they really had to cut his scenes in a way so because otherwise if he's doing that every day the dude's not sleeping yeah. i mean oh. you know I mean, look at some of the best effects. You know, there were there were people that actually slept while the while the makeup artists were applying the effects to their face. Because, I mean, you're just there. You're you're there, and that Dude. that is oh, yeah. amazing. They did a great job. I, right? I have like always Worf? been a big fan of uh, Colin Colin Farrell. I I he's so good. Like I've I've always been a fan. I was of actually his. talking about Sparkly Batman when I said he was weak, but yeah, yeah, I know. Um, but still, though, like haven't seen him do anything. He yeah. And if this if they actually made a, like a single piece prosthetic from from his cheeks down, which is kind of what they probably did, that's probably why it looks so good. And it may have taken a lot less time to apply or and they may have made like multiple copies of it, like dozens and dozens. Oh, so that they could bro. instead of like carefully peeling it off, they yeah. they, they used a master. Well, and like there's so much way. texture to his oh, cheeks. It was incredible. Yeah. Well, and then think about it. Then they have to paint the paint, uh, it, it, the makeup, and, and the paint has to match what he's going to wear in this. Yeah. It's just incredible. So somebody spent a lot of time. This is where I go. Yeah, that's good. Pra that's good practical effects. Yeah. yeah. I, I I feel bad for you know the guy that played Worf because every single day he was getting up and then spending all that time in the makeup chair. Uh, to get all his prosthetics well but see they made that they made that like a, that was a four p those are four four primarily those are four pieces that they put and yeah. it didn't take him that long after a period of time the process gets faster and faster okay yeah, yeah. So, yeah. well let's hurry up because like i'm getting hungry okay because like i mean all, look all the action with with batman beating up people it looks great that, yeah that, that part looks good I don't uh, care about whatever is happening with her. I do not care about her story. Yeah, the, stu the stunt man's pretty yeah. awesome in this. I have to say. See, there's there's no way every single bullet would would hit his emblem. You know the part. Oh, it that, wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't hitting his emblem. I don't know why you keep bringing that up. Like that's a oh, okay a then, problem. Since when could he just stop bullets like that at point blank range? Like that's the issue because the emblem was there to. Um, to make bad guys aim for it because that was his thickest part of the armor, so he'd take less damage. But it was never intended to just be shot at point blank. You know that's Whoa. why he had all those other techniques to take people down and not just be like not 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 take bullets like that because you can't there you can't stop that stuff. He's not he's not. He doesn't have the powers of like Superman, so he found ways around that and like trained around that. So that, right, that kind of bugs me. He does have armor. Armor is a thing. 
Can, is, what so, armor so, protects you, you, at yeah, that degree? So I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. So, uh, so, so you wore probably Kevlar, right? Yeah. But you, you had, you had a heart plate, probably, right? A steel yeah. plate that went right. No, behind. it wasn't steel. What it was it? So it was. Um, it's this special like fabric thing is uh and it's actually it, it breaks very easily as well like uh when it like it can shatter or whatever it's hard to explain but like they they don't use just like steel anymore in fact there was this guy uh oh i don't want to get too deep into this but uh he went on a uh, uh, oprah one time and uh was talking about his stuff. i think it was called dragon scale i forgot what it was he disappeared and so did his stuff that he was making anyway but there's a I lot of where different that went <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But uh but there was a there's you know, a lot maybe. of different um um like when when you when you look so like the 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 plate uh mm-hmm. and it's been so long like I I don't know how to d- describe it cuz it's not just a steel plate like what like I I like if you look at Black Hawk Down right they had that that giant steel plate well that's not this um I'd have to yeah. look up exactly and, what the uh and those things break away uh to disperse um the energy from the bullet uh, but then what, once it gets hit, well, it loses its effectiveness. Just like once Kevlar gets shot, the, the more times it gets shot, so the less effective it is. Like it loses, it loses that um, its texture and cohesion like pretty quick. And once it's used, it's done. Like you have to replace it once it gets shot because it, it's not nearly as good. And if you're taking the, this amount of bullets. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Sappy plate. It's a, a ceramic trauma plate. That's right. And it goes in so it'll be in the eye best, right? But this is that's a that's a lot of bullets to take. Right. And no, I, and I'm not saying that's what he's using. What I'm saying is like I know. he he has a lot of money and a lot of technology. Like and also later on in, in this trailer, you see to walk him through with, bullets? I don't know what kind of shit he's using. I don't know. Let me ask you a I, question since you understand, you know, the various rounds types and the recoil for, from the weaponry when you fire them, etc. Um how, how much force is each one of those bullets that's traveling at that distance into that human being? Yeah. So I get all the problems right because it would have to um wait, wait, the the impact of it like all right, so what when movies fuck up, right, is is when they show people fly back when they get shot. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. The bullet's gonna go straight through, you're gonna drop, right? Now, an easy way to, to to tell if someone got shot in the plate or not is if they fly back, you don't have to worry so much about them because they got hit in the plate or they wouldn't have flown. But if they just drop, you need to go check on them. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because of just the force, even though like you're protected by the actual round. What I'm saying though is later on in this trailer, you see him with just a massive amount of bruises and marks all over his body from looks like he's being shot a lot, but uh, it, because you would still have, you know, all of that force being hit. I don't know. Isn't there a bit of pull too? Like if it's going, if it's going to, to flesh because of um, the way the bullet goes in and um, the way that forces apply, it wouldn't just be a push. It wouldn't be, um well so pushback it's more a, li- a slight pull forward well so again you're 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 talking like depending on the caliber the the velocity of the yeah, round yeah. the distance the um yeah. you know what i mean like there's a lot of factors okay, that go okay. into so, it so so the next thing is okay so maybe it's a reactive form of armor so you you actually rode around in a vehicle with a reactive armor plating right a reactive barrier yes, what rea- happens yes. what happens when a reactive armor actually reacts so what happens is the explosion goes out, not in, is the, the whole point of the reactive armor, right? So if you get hit by an RPG, there's C4 and explosives or whatever else, like inside of these blocks on the side of the vehicle, right? So yeah, when that called, gets hit... They're called shaped charges, by the way. Yeah. Do you ask me? Do you want to answer? No, I do, but I'm just... I, so the, uh, so I everybody think he was understand. adding it for people. Yeah, I was just yeah. adding it. It was just an add-on. Anyway, so the explosion in theory goes out rather than in yeah so, so it's kind of trying to displace the energy um right yeah yeah that, so that makes sense um but once it's used it's used like now, that part is gone all, also there's this other cool thing uh called a ricochet so when these bullets are bouncing off where are they going Okay. There's go? a lot of problems here. I get this. 
and, and and that's that's why he did things to avoid the like gunfire you know he um using using the smoke bombs so they can't see and they they fire um they they fire where he was a second ago and and goes goes to the places where the bullets aren't firing and then takes them out you know uh to avoid that yeah damage. right yeah we we so get all that this, this this is a trailer so in less than a two second shot we've been able to pick apart this particular element of the trailer like in with it in, in no time flat I but understand, but it looks supposed fucking awesome. to be a awesome. more realistic, grittier Batman. I don't care. It looks fucking awesome. Okay. I understand. Like, it makes no sense. If it's Superman, yeah, yeah. Totally buy it. Because that's... We, we already know the bullets won't have an effect. And, like, he'll just stand there and walk through them. Um, but that's not Batman. Even, like, even with tech... He's still limited by tech, and you can only take so much. So yeah, that's I, why I, I always found ways around it. I was trying to avoid the whole vibranium thing because that that is like one of the. Oh wait, wait! This is DC, yeah. so wouldn't it be kryptonite armor? The suit has kryptonite yeah, in it. Maybe now, I don't know because of, of Batwoman. But if this is early years, then he wouldn't have that because that came oh, later. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, so he wouldn't know. have any of the kryptonite armor in order to work with if it's the early years okay well so montana this this the, this one it, there's a lot of context that would have to be made up to make this actually work with what we know about uh physics and guns and armor and uh, he would metal, i i know there metal, would be like uh projectiles being shot out of a like being like exploded into a direction and hitting something and it has to go somewhere all that energy um well and and again ricochets these two dudes yeah. would they, the bullets would have been coming right back at him <laughs> i'm just like um, hey ouch <laughs> but, well like even e i mean <laughs> even even more likely than that is one of them will hit at an angle and then just shoot right up through that open That's could could happen face yeah. there um depending on the angle yeah yeah and uh, his armor would be angled in order to like displace as much energy as possible but i'm, I'm enjoying this this is fun and we, we are only this is the one scene how about the superman uh, the superman landing that he did in the in the scaffolding scene just a second ago i'm thinking how are those Do knees doing? Back? yeah how, how are the how are those knees doing bro oh god yeah yeah and curious. so w would those be like a, a 40 caliber bullet in there what what are they no, yeah what, dude what, that, what? that one on the left has like nine mil nine at, millimeter yeah okay. at most that, like, that's uh, why i'm asking um, they're both they're both spray and pray guns is what they are well, no i think the one on the right was a pistol wasn't it i, I didn't get no, a good look. no they're both they both have uh, auto auto fire yeah it's it's auto yeah it, it looked like uzi the, the type one on the of left thing. with like a mp5 Small it's like nine mil no i'm telling you the one on the right that is a pistol it may be like um oh one of those um automatic pistols um yeah 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 anyway sorry uh, um sorry didn't mean to cut you off because i think you're about to yeah. like name it oh yeah uh no i don't think that's a pistol Is, I, I think that had more the the Uzi look, dude. Maybe um, seriously, like, well, like right. Wait, no, I'm, I'm talking about the one on the right. right. See the one on the right. Oh yeah, the right is pistol. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The oh, one sorry. on the left yeah. looks like an MP5 or some variant. Yeah, you, you catch it right in that that dark. Yeah. Uh, oh. Damn, it, it's only there for a second, but I got people sending me stuff on ballistic <laughs> shit. Uh, hey, welcome. Okay, welcome can we agree conversation. that the car is awesome? Car is sure. badass. Yeah, it just drove through a brick wall, and there's no dents or anything that oh happened. Oh my to that god, bumper. I didn't see a brick wall. That wasn't a brick wall. Okay, what was it? Was that pallets? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay, and that didn't leave a mark at all. 
I don't know what his car is made out of. Okay, and it looked like it did. To me. Even well, bear see, dogs I would like buy, stop your I would buy me. the car more if you're using like the right type of material to run through that. Um, like, oh, uh, basically, uh, armor resistant, um, armor uh, resistant. I, I know, I know. Um, uh, armor ballistic hey, resistant. I, yes. That's, that's the word I was looking for. Hey man, it's stream oh. brain. It happens. Yeah. Ballistic resistant. Uh, it, so run, that would probably, uh, secure run, it from, run a vehicle into a pole or another vehicle. And then, and then you would, you would hit pretty obvious at speed what it does to things. Oh yeah. But that, that wasn't yeah. a pole. That was, uh, that was we just like, no. a, okay, well, that's a crate. Well, that, that's a pallet with a bunch of, okay. You know, Let me, can I, it. can I, you know, do you know what they put, uh, uh, in those big yellow things that are on the highway? Water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, if they used to put, they used to also put sand in them, and then they realized that was also equally not the best thing in the world. It does disperse the energy, but the car does not look like it's in great shape. So it hits something full of something, which exploded everywhere. Which it looks really good in the stunt, okay. but well, it, there it is was, a difference between modern cars and older cars. Like, there's a reason why they moved away from that, that steel frame uh, because. It didn't displace energy. So in the older cars, it, you would have like a fender bender and you wouldn't see much damage. Where the newer cars, uh, but all the damage would be uh, sent into I'll your stop. body. I'll stop. I just, I just, like I said, I, I, this, this was a lot of fun for me to just nitpick to pieces. So. Oh, no. Like I agree with you for the most yeah. part. I, I'm just saying for the cars, you can buy yeah. it more and it yeah. would be it, the damage would be transferring to his body rather than the car, depending on the material. Like that, because that's how the older cars worked. The newer right. cars, they, they compact very easily to save any damage. It, it's, um, it's why if you have a fender bender, you see everything just uh, crumple in because it's absorbing everything. Well, real quick on that last on that last comment, uh, if yeah. you take a Batmobile out of any of the Bat like the Batman movies and put it yeah. in a different movie, you're not gonna. It, it would like, do the same thing there. You you wouldn't think it was Batman's car if it's not a Batman yeah. movie. Anyway, it is it is what it is. I, I I look. I'm I'm hoping the film is good. I have lowered expectations. Um, I have you know, higher ones. Okay. Well, we, I when we see this, we'll have to meet again. We will. We that, will. And it is a I, badass car. Can we agree I hope, there? I hope no one's Pat arguing that. Okay. Oh, I, hey, you know what? Um, if if I hit the lottery, I'll buy you one of these chargers, Yeti. Oh God! Hey, oh, by the way, love you, Yeti. We're gonna do a Temple of Doom watch along later okay. on. Okay, I'm in. All right, so be on the lookout for that, and that's gonna do it for us here at MBE. Boy, that got into the minutia. Minutia. I, yep. I, I thought I thought it was pretty good going into those details. <laughs> hey, Kip. Hey, Kip. You Hello. feeling better now after your exercise? Yeah, Phil, I've heard you stay to promote our new full fat cola. All right, I, I gotta, I, I, I gotta say, man, I don't know how you like. I guess you printed this. I mean, we'll talk afterwards because that looks awesome. That's amazing. Uh, so, uh, it, you guys, oh, we'll we'll be on the dump tonight. Culture and I will be on the dump tonight. That yeah. Ryan guy may come back. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Ryan Cannell. Ryan Cannell of RK Outpost will be joining us tonight on the dump. Um, you guys, I it'll be a, that. should be. Should be a great show. I'm very excited for it. Obviously, yeah. I'm going to be on it. Yeah, I know. I yeah, you're going to be on it. I'm going to be co-hosting as usual. It's going to be great. Uh, Yeti, you got anything? Um, so I I'm just not, have that getting, latest trailer that I put out. The what if Michael Myers is a piece of candy corn? Um, I think it's hilarious. Uh, go check that out on my channel. Um, yeah. YouTube hasn't been doing me any favors. No. <laughs> uh, no. I'm I'm kind of surprised because I put it out right at the the proper time, time in order to get those searches, but I don't know. Uh, something's mm. going on there. Mm. Yep. So go, go check it out because I worked really hard on it. Yes, yep. you did. Anyway, thanks everybody for being here. Uh, oh, Wednesday, we are going to be starting our new show. It's going to be awesome. And I'm excited to do it. Oh, Kip. Kip doesn't know. Oh, Kip. Kip is like, what? Yeah. All right. Uh, bye, everyone. 
Listen now, Mr. Kansas Law Dog. Law don't go around here. Sammy. Hey, Law Dog. Law don't go around here. Nice Law Doggy. Law don't go around here. You didn't know it's over. Well, bye.